Good day, Wonder Nurses. I'm Nurse Anne. Today, I will help you to calculate most of our favorite problems related with numbers. Even nurses cannot escape this, and in our work, it is very vital because we are dealing with patients' medications and intravenous fluid drop rates. Come and join me as I will simplify dealing with these numbers. So if you're ready, let's start. Drug computations. Our formula is doctor's order divided by the stock dose multiplied by the stock's volume. Here is the first example. The patient is experiencing intermittent fever episodes. The order of the doctor in her chart is to administer paracetamol 175 mg per IV every 4 hours, PRN for fever. The ampule of available paracetamol is 300 mg per 2 ml. How many ml will you administer to the patient? First, the doctor's order is 175 milligram. Then we will divide it with the stock dose, which is 300 milligrams. And we will multiply it with the volume in the ampule, which is 2 ml. So the answer will be 1.17 ml. Okay, let's try another example. Question number 2. The doctor ordered to administer 2.25 grams of piperacillin tazobactam to patient X. The stack dose is 4 grams per 500 milligrams per vial. Then nurses know diluted the drug in 20 ml of sterile water. How many ml will she administer to the patient? This is just the same like the previous one. But the only difference is we need to convert something because they don't have the same unit. We should know that 1000 mg is equal to 1 gram. Let's convert 500 mg into grams by dividing it to 1000 mg. Then multiply it by 1 gram. This will be equal to 0 0.5 grams. This is how we convert to make all their units the same. Our stock dose will be 4 grams plus 0 0.5 grams equals 4.5 grams. After converting it, let's now go back to our formula. The doctor's order is 2.25 grams. Then we will divide it with the stock dose that we computed which is 4.5 grams, and we will multiply it with the volume that nurses know used to dilute the drug. It is 20 ml. So the answer will be 10 ml. Next example, question number 3. Patient X was diagnosed with tetanus, and he is experiencing muscle spasms. His attending physician ordered 8 mg per IV of diazepam PRN. The stack dose that is printed is 5 mg per 1 ml in a 2 ml ampule. How many ml will you administer to the patient? Okay, try to understand and don't be confused with the volumes being given. The doctor's order is 8 mg, so we will divide it with our stock dose, which is 5 mg. We will use the 1 ml rather than the 2 ml, because if you try to analyze base in the stock dose, each ml has 5 mg. So if you will use the 2 ml, there will be 10 mg. The 2 ml indicates the whole volume of the ampule. It is included just to trick you. Therefore, we will multiply it with 1 ml. So the answer is 1.6 ml. You can also use the 2 ml, 
but you need to change the 5 mg to 10 mg and you will still arrive with the same answer which is 1.6 ml. This will just complicate things so it's better to stick with our first solution. Let's now proceed to our last topic which is IV flow rate computation. Our basic formula is total volume in ml divided by the expected time in minutes multiplied by the drop factor in drops per ml. The result will be the IV flow rate in drops per minutes. Another formula is when we need to compute how many ml per hour does an IVF to be consumed. The formula is the total volume in ml divided by the time in hours. Here is our last example. The doctor ordered in the chart of patient X to shift the current IVF to D5 LRS 1 liter to run for 8 hours. Question letter A. How many ml per hour for the IVF to be consumed on time? Letter B. What will be the expected flow rate if you are using a microset? Letter C. What will be the expected flow rate if you will use a macro set that can infuse 20 drops per ml? This is our solution for letter A. 1 liter is equivalent to 1000 ml. Therefore, we will divide 1000 ml to 8 hours. This is equal to 125 ml per hour. This means that in one hour, there is 125 ml that must be consumed so that we can finish the 1000 ml or 1 liter in 8 hours. Letter B Solution Since it is indicated that we will use a microset tubing, the expected drop factor is 60 drops per ml. Knowing this, we can now compute for the flow rate. Again, 1 liter is equivalent to 1000 ml. Then we will convert the 8 hours into minutes by multiplying it to 60 because 1 hour is equivalent to 60 minutes. So the answer will be 480 minutes. We can now proceed. 1000 ml divided by 480 minutes multiplied by the drop factor is equal to 125 drops per minute. This means that using a microset, there should be 125 drops in one full minute. Solution for letter C. It is just the same like we did in the letter B solution. We just need to change the drop factor to 20 drops per ml because it is indicated in the question that we will be using a macroset. Usually, a macroset tubing administers a larger drop and may be used for 10 drops per ml, 15 drops per ml, or even 20 drops per ml. But since the given is 20 drops per ml, we will use it to answer the question. So 1000 ml will be divided to 480 minutes and we will multiply to 20 drops per ml. So the answer is 41.67 drops per minute. Note, drops must be rounded to the nearest whole number. So our final answer will be 42 drops per minute. This means that using a macro set with the drop factor of 20 drops per ml, there should be 42 drops in one full minute. Thank you for listening. I hope you learned and understand something. If you want more videos, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video.